Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is brought to you by Gangsters and Demons on YouTube. Check it out. What's going on, everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and here we are back with another action figure review. This time, we got a biggie. A biggie. A B-I-B-I-G. <laughs> I was, I was going to rap there, but I was like, nah, you guys are not ready for that. It's the B-I-G-P-O-P-P-A. Um, a big papa right here, man. Spawn. Violator. Uh, big fucking toy there's the back of the violator mcfarlane toys there's the side art right there there in the background are some of the figs i've reviewed actually all the uh, mcfarlane figs i have reviewed so far um i still have redeemer i'm going to do but today we're going to take a look at this violator and also we're going to do some comparisons with that violator with that violator and then we're going to break out some old school spawn figures to do some comparisons bro all right so let's go ahead and take out redeemer let's cut him open i've heard good things about him from almost everybody everybody that has reviewed this figure they say that this figure is amazing so let's pop him out of the box i got to cut the tops right here that right there and let me know guys are you keeping the boxes if so let me know I'm kind of undecided if I should keep some of the boxes I have kept, some of the boxes I have thrown away. Um, I'm not a in-box collector. Let's take out the Violator right here. Holy crap! Holy crap! And yeah, you see how heavy he is? He slammed on my freaking table, bro. And man, he is strapped in there. But you know what? Let's see. You know what? Let's jump forward to him already out the package because it's going to be a pain in the ass to get him out. So let's jump forward. Guys. Ow! The Violator is all out of package. I'm just going to leave that in there. As you guys can see, it comes with this tiny little uh, black circular base at all of McFarlane figures come with, which I find is pretty hilarious. So let's take a look at Violator, and man, he is fucking heavy. Let me bring my camera up just a little bit, man, because he is one big mofo. Oh my gosh. Jeez, bro. Jeez, man. This is one big piece of plastic. I remember, this kind of reminds me of, um, if you guys don't collect Marvel Select, uh, it kind of reminds me of the Marvel Select Abomination like this big piece of plastic bro this heavy piece of plastic but i think yeah i'm pretty sure the violator weighs more than um abomination and i'll actually break out abomination um towards the end to do a comparison bro but man this guy is just wow oh wow man he is breathtaking he is absolutely beautiful freaking beautiful bro just look at the detail on this mofo Oh, man, this right here, this is the old school McFarlane uh, I have been talking about uh, ever since the new McFarlane has risen again to popularity. This is the old school shit that I'm talking about, bro. He is just one bad ass mother. Let me come in close, bring my camera up, guys, so you guys can see the fucking detail. Jeez, bro. Jeez. This is one badass figure, man. I'm going to have to say right now, he is my favorite out of all the figures I have reviewed so far. 
just seeing him up close in person and just looking at all the fucking detail. Even to from his horn, spiked horn right there, to the mouth, to the eyes, to the horns, to the chest, to the hands. Everything about this guy. You know, this guy reminds me of what McFarlane should have did with the Doomsday figure. You know what I mean? Like the Doomsday figure, well, the Devastator, should I say, should look like this, bro. Look at the detail in the hands and the arms. There's the legs right there. Very dinosaur, prehistoric looking. There's the feet. Man, this guy is... This guy is fucking awesome, bro. All right, let's check out the articulation before we do some reviews. So, arms, great. Look at that. I never thought I would say McFarlane in art, art, great articulation in the same sentence. But damn it, look at this, bro. A very nicely articulated violator. I don't think that's something that we ever had other than the one that I'm about to show you, the very first one, which was bendable. Uh, let's see, waist swivel, waist bend. Um, barely. Look at that. It's got some good leg movement there. <sighs> Let's see. Knee bend. Look at that. Well, you could say it's double jointed. Double jointed knee bend right there. Then the ankle pivot, ankle rocker. Not so much ankle rocker, but ankle pivot. Yeah, he's going to be a pain in the ass to stand, but I guess that's why you have that stand. Um, it seems like he's a little off-leveled. Like, Okay, maybe I fixed it. The torso is a little bit crooked, in my opinion, but let's see how well he can stand. If he can stand at all. By himself, and the answer is... He can! <laughs> he can't well I guess it depends on how you have him posed okay if you bend the ankle a little bit you can probably have him stand yeah there we go not great but yeah it's just his feet are just too small so you're gonna have to prop him up against something or use this use the stand which I don't know how beneficial that's gonna be um let's see arms move up that way it can actually rotate Rotate the arms, head movements. Let's see about the head. Nothing really in the head. Mouth can move. Look at that. The jaw is articulated. That's great. Head movement, not so much. This is a freaking masterpiece, bro. It really is, man. Uh, by far, my favorite figure so far. Um, here he is with the movie version Violator. And I'm going to have to lift up my camera, guys, to show you to get these guys in the frame. And you see the change. This guy is a little bit more huskier where the older one was a little bit more skinnier. But even with the older one, it did have amazing detail. But I think compared to this one, yeah, man. Yeah, I definitely do think the new one wins, bro. Of course, I don't have any of the other violators because I never picked them up because I never really cared too much for them. Because I was actually pretty satisfied with this Violator right here. The movie version. So this was from the movie. It was, I think it was from the movie. No, maybe it wasn't from the movie. It was from, it was, I think it was like a deluxe version. So it wasn't the movie version. Um, I think it was a deluxe version. Because I remember reviewing this guy and one of you guys corrected me. And he was like, no, dumbass, that's not from the movie. That's the deluxe version of the Violator. So that's, that, that one is not from the movie. Uh, but this one. <laughs> right here, bro. Uh, this one actually goes pretty well with Violator, man. So yeah, the Violator, this Violator can probably go into your 6-inch format right there. That's how nicely he sizes up with the movie spawn. Look at that, bro. <laughs> and they, it actually, he goes pretty well, man. He goes pretty well. So yeah, he can go into your 6-inch, you know, spawn toys lineup, man, very nicely. Um, here is, man, I really hope McFarlane does does this again right here bro uh really hope he brings back the violator chopper right here or uh, not the violator chopper the violator rig should i say i actually do have a violator chopper 
which I'll probably break out Ghost Riders on that one. Um, oh, actually, it's right here. Hold on one moment. Right here. Here's the the Violator Chopper. I really hope McFarlane brings back this shit. <laughs> but I have the Ghost Rider. The Marvel Sled Ghost Rider on this Violator Chopper. If you guys never seen any of these reviews, they are in my McFarlane reviews. But yeah, man, that shows you uh, how far we've come, right? So... Here is the very, very first Violator. I have them in the Violator rig. Let's take out... Shit. Let's take out... <laughs> this Violator right here, bro. And this is a bendable one. This one, I guarantee, is not going to break on you. Uh, he does have an articulated jaw. Yeah, he can actually move it with his horn right there. But, <laughs> yeah, bro. This, this is how far we've come. This is Violator. First, very, very first Violator from 1994. Here is 2021. How far we've come, right? Amazing, bro. Absolutely amazing. Okay, um, let's do some comparisons, guys. So, let's break out some spawn figures that you guys see in the back. Let's do some comparisons. So, I'm actually going to use the other violator to prop this guy up um, this way uh, he won't tip over so the last figure that I reviewed we have clown right here who changes into the violator so they are pretty much the same character same well different characters same person I think that makes sense right just an overall great great figure I think Violator right here. First, clown, second. Uh, oh, wait, no, actually. Uh, Gunslinger spawn, I think, is going to take the second place right here. Gunslinger spawn, then the clown would probably take third place. And then I think fourth place would probably be Raven spawn. So let's break out Raven spawn over here. Actually, let's break out my custom Mortal Kombat spawn right there and then we'll break out my raven spawn right here so that's how they all measure up guys right there so far so good and you know what while i'm uh at it while i'm speaking about it let's go ahead and break out another mortal kombat figure okay but before we do that mandarin spawn because he's pretty much part of the lineup um, there's Mandarin Spawn, and then here's my custom Medieval Spawn, right there. <laughs> there's Clown passing out, and there's all my figures passing out, but yeah, that's how he measures up, right there. We're a little bit out of control. We got too much figures going on. This is why I needed a bigger review spot right here, simply because of all these damn figures, bro. Uh, but yeah, there's the Mortal uh, Mortal Kombat, my custom Mortal Kombat spawn figure with Violator. They actually go well together. I'm going to have to build the shelf, uh, make a new shelf for my spawn figures. For these new spawn figures, because obviously McFarlane is going to be making more because these figures have become a success. And with me branching off and doing more customs like a dumbass and making more spawn figures, um, yeah, it's definitely... Definitely going to have to create a new show for all these new Spawn figures, man. But, um, pff, man, McFarland is doing a hell of a job, bro. Hell of a job. And this Violator is pretty damn awesome. It's my favorite figure so far. If you guys didn't see any reviews of, like, any of reviews of this Medieval Spawn, check them out. It's my, my custom reviews or my McFarland reviews or video game reviews. It's really up to you where you want to go on my playlist. But back to the man at hand. Great, great figure. Let's do some more comparisons that are not uh, spawn related, like Dark Side over here. So that's how he measures up with Dark Side. So obviously, Violator is bigger than Dark Side. Dr. Fate. And then the man himself, or the shark himself, King Shark. So here is King Shark with a <laughs> violator, bro. And that's how big that's how big King Shark is, man. A lot of people don't realize how big this King Shark is. 
He's a big guy. And if you're wondering about the size of Violator, I know I haven't done a, a measurement of Violator yet because I've been busy drooling over this figure. But that's how he measures up with King Shark. Awesome figure, man. This guy might challenge King Shark in figure of the year, should I say. Um, so, Violator stands all the way up to the top of his horn. Uh, he's just a little under 11 and a half inches tall. That's how big he is. So with wise, if you're wondering, with wise, with his arms closed in, he's about seven and a half inches. Okay, guys, let me give you my let me give you my review, bro. Oh man, I am exhausted. <laughs> this guy is beyond beautiful, man. The head, the arms, the body. Listen, I mean. You know, not the greatest of articulation, but hey, to have like a, a big figure like this that's actually really articulated, that actually is pretty, pretty articulated, um, is, is awesome, bro. It's really, really awesome. He's a great figure. The amazing detail on this guy, they actually put wash on him, which is uh, a blessing. I'm saying that about a demon. <laughs> Overall... Look at that, bro. Just a great, great overall fucking monster of a figure, man. He weighs... Oh, yeah, I forgot to bring out my Abomination figure. Uh, let's do that real quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you my rating. It's a 10 out of 10, bro. It's a 10 out of 10. Great figure. Highly recommend it if you're a Spawn fan. It's definitely a pickup. It's definitely worth, what, 40 bucks? I think I paid for it. $40? $40 or 50 bucks? Pick it up, let's break out Violator, and let's do one more comparison. Let me tell you something, guys. My toy room is a fucking mess, man. With me pulling out all these fucking action figures, my room is a fucking mess, bro, to do, like, comparisons. So, yeah, this is what I mean. When I first got this Violator, he was like a fucking brick. He's heavy as hell. And, well, actually, man, that's a tough one. They, they both are about the same weight you know what? I'm actually going to have to give it to Violator. Let me switch hands. Ooh, man, that's a tough one, bro. I think they're about the same weight, man. Anybody who has this Marvel Select Abomination ob obviously knows how heavy this guy is. Um, and he's like a fucking brick. This guy is no exception. I think they weigh about the same. They both have the same amount of detail. Uh, they're both like demon-like figures. One of my favorite figures in my entire collection that is not McFarlane related. Um, but overall, I'm out of breath, man. I need to start exercising. <laughs> but overall, great fucking figure, man. It, it is a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. If you guys are holding off on these figures, don't get them while you still can. Have them on pre-order. Don't buy them off the secondary markets. Uh, pre-order them, wait if you have to, but they are definitely, definitely a pickup. And this one is not by far my favorite. Whew. Okay, guys, there was my little review of Violator. Awesome freaking figure. Definitely recommend it. Just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next review. Peace out.